Fear of children, fear of infants or fear of childhood is alternatively called pedophobia American English, pedophobia or pediophobia. Other age-focused fears are aphibiphobia and gerontophobia. Recognized outcomes of pedophobia include paternalism, adultism, and by extension, ageism. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word pedophobia comes from the Greek roots paid paid, child, and phobos phobos, fear. Topic: <inaudible> Scientific analysis. The fear of children has been diagnosed and treated by psychiatrists with studies examining the effects of multiple forms of treatment. Sociologists have situated contemporary fears about children and childhood e.g. pedophobia, as "...contributing to the ongoing social construction of childhood", suggesting that "...generational power relations, in which children's lives are bounded by adult surveillance", affect many aspects of society. More than one study has identified the fear of children as a factor affecting biological conception in humans. <laughs> Popular perception Pedophobia is the raison d'etre for several international social justice movements addressing young people, including children's rights and youth participation. Major international organizations addressing pedophobia, either outright or by implication, include Save the Children and Children's Defense Fund. However, some organizations, particularly those associated with the youth rights movement, claim that these movements perpetuate pedophobia. The complexity of this notion is exacerbated by observations by experts such as Letty Cotton Pogrebin, a founding editor of Ms. Magazine, who is said to have diagnosed America as having an epidemic of pedophobia, saying that, Though most of us make exceptions for our own offspring, we do not seem particularly warm hearted towards other people's children. Topic. Causes One author suggests that the cause of the fear of children in academia specifically extends from adults' distinct awareness of the capacity of children as she wrote, "...children embarrass us because they point ever too cleverly and clearly to our denial of personal, material, and maternal history." A separate report suggests that the source of current trends in the fear of children have a specific source, namely, James Q. Wilson, a professor at UCLA's School of Management, back in 1975, helped inaugurate the current climate of pedophobia when he said, A critical mass of younger persons creates an explosive increase in the amount of crime. Topic. Addressing the issue As mentioned above, social service, human rights, and social justice organizations have been tackling the fear of children for dozens of years. The United Nations has created the Convention on the Rights of the Child, which is implicitly designed to address pedophobia by fostering intergenerational equity between children and adults. As evidenced above, pedophobia is distinctly addressed by academic, especially evidenced since the creation of the field of youth studies. The influence of the fear of children in American popular culture is examined by critical media analysts who have identified the effects of pedophobia in both Disney and horror films. A wide range of other authors and scholars, including Henry Giroux, Mike Mails, and Barbara Kingsolver, have suggested that the popular modern fear of children stems from corporatization of mass media and its complicity with a range of political and economic interests. Mails perhaps goes the furthest, and wrote an entire book exploring the subject. Topic. Voluntary childless parents or child-free individuals While there are many families in the world, not all couples or even humans desire to have families or children. The United States Bureau of the Census conducted a study in 1971, which they say the data still seems to be the same today concerning birth rates and parent-to-child ratios. They believe it is too early to say that increased rates of childless families foretell a future increase of childless homes in general or just later birth. The number of married couples voluntarily choosing to be childless are only increasing. 
As social trends are hard to predict and therefore fertility expectations, attitudes, behaviors and such are uneasy to consistently gather data for, leaving voluntarily childlessness hard to track. There is a forum on the popular website, Reddit, where self-described child-free individuals from around the world discuss the child-free lifestyle. According to Agnieszka Bien et al., the amount of women choosing to remain childless is increasing for many reasons. This choice to remain childless is due to different and emerging socio-cultural factors including, a different outlook on a professional career and life, shifting focus to self-fulfillment and individualism, and changing patterns of norms of family types. In more recent years, society has become more open-minded and accepting to the choosing to not have children. Overpopulation and climate change are some other factors that influence a woman's decision to remain voluntarily childless. Not only is society accepting this idea and choice more, the choice of being childless to some degree is even becoming desired. Topic. See also Fear of childbirth Fear of seniors Fear of youth List of phobias Topic. References Topic. Further reading Raising Cain, Protecting the Emotional Life of Boys by Daniel J. Kinlan, Michael Thompson, et al. Prout, R. 2001, Fear and Gendering, Pedophobia, Effeminophobia, and Higher Masculine Desire in the Work of Juan Goitasolo, Worlds of Change, 42. Scharf, R. 2001, Pedophobia, the Gynarchy, and the Androcracy. Journal of Psychohistory 28 3, Winter 2001, p. 281 302. 